Epcot ball. That's what we are to recall. Technically our second time at Epcot this trip, but we're gonna start with this footage first. Yes, because we came here last night to so be here in the evening, because that was the only evening we had really had available to do this. So we have a couple hours here today, and then a couple hours here tomorrow morning. So hopefully we can get most of the festival there done within that time. Okay, so now we're walking into Figment's Inspiration Station, located in the Odyssey. Here are some of the things they offer here. I know, I just saw the cup. I know, we got it. They also have the Figment popcorn buckets here. It's a mobile order this time. So this is the inside of the Odyssey. And if you look up, there's an original animatronic from the original Figment ride. Now we gotta find this man asleep. Even the tables here are super cute and rainbow. So here, Marcus has the fruit pizza, which is a watermelon base with compressed cantaloupe, berries, and a berry balsamic. And then we have the grape, is it a smoothie? Yeah, it said it was a grape smoothie. Grape smoothie with rainbow freeze-dried Skittles. I do like a pizza. I do like how they have the shavings and the quick cheese. Yeah, that's cute. Oh, that's an interesting face. I originally really liked the bite that I had, but I think it's that berry balsamic. If they just had it berry, but I think the balsamic is really throwing me off. Mm -hmm. How was the compressed melon? I know that's what you were most looking forward to. That was the best part. Okay. <laughs> but that, yeah, that berry balsamic. I probably wouldn't get it again. It almost looks like a great milkshake just compared to a smoothie. Not an overly great flavor. And you're just, it's like I taste a lot of milk in Oh. Yeah. I wish it was more great. Give it a six out of Marcus has finished his inspirational and rainbow treats and now we're gonna head out into World Showcase. Well, finished except for I'm trying to get all the Skittles. I didn't eat them off the top. I probably should have. <laughs> Ooh, bubbles! What's special about the bubbles? Oh, there's smoky bubbles. So at El Artista Ambriento, I got the Huaracha de Championes. Which I don't know if I said that right. Um, it has guajillo chili and corn masa huarache with pinto beans, oyster mushrooms, nopales, queso fresco, and pea tendrils. Just to pick it up and eat it like a like a pizza. So you're eating cacti. I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> What's your rating? Four out of ten. Four out of ten. So I basically she won't get it again. The fried part on the bottom is good and I love queso fresco. <laughs> so of course for Festival of the Arts they have some famous artists featured and a photo op I'm gonna go do right now. I'm gonna zoom in. So from Pastoral Palette, Marcus got the red wine braised beef short rib with parsnip puree, broccolini, baby tomatoes, and aged balsamic. I already know it's gonna be good because I've had it before. <laughs> An old favorite returning. Old festivals, and I may be a little partial to it because short rib is what I had at our wedding. So from Disney, so it's probably the same thing. But look how tender that is. Oh. I've had it before too, it's really good. <laughs> I don't think anything can beat this at the festival. It's an 11 out of 10. This is best of the fest? Best of the fest, it has to be. It's like an 11 out of 10, like you have to get this when you come here, it's just so good. And this is at the Germany Pavilion at Pastoral Palace. I'll yeah, I need some time alone. I'll, just, yeah, I'll leave you two alone. 
So over at the American Gardens Theater, they have an animation academy. And I think we're gonna go line up to go do that next. It only happens twice a day, 12.30 and 1.30, so. Because then it transitions to the Disney on Broadway series. Right, so it's in the same theater that they do the Disney Broadway show. So we're gonna head over to the America Pavilion next. Okay, so we're here at the America Gardens Theater. We are about 20 minutes early, but I see they're starting to hand out some paper for drawings. This is a closer look at the stage. About four rows back. Let's see who draws better. We already know the answer to that. It's not going to be any contest. Go ahead and draw a line that's going to basically be the center of his head, where he's facing it. And if you look, when his head is turned three quarters, it almost covers half of that ball that we drew in, that circle. So we're going to do that. Right around the middle of it here, I'm going to draw a large oval shape that's going to go just above okay, the top of that Okay, to find circle. the difference between these two pictures. <laughs> This is Sir Goo. That is Gooby. <laughs> oh well. We express our artistic desire. I don't know. Uh, we're gonna go get the sipper. <laughs> Not just any sipper. A tribute to all sippler sipplers. <laughs> A tribute to all sippers, but mostly America. <laughs> A scale of one to ten, how excited are you right now? Uh, a nine. A nine? Yeah. Alright, so we gotta go to Regal Eagle Smokehouse yes. to get the zipper. Which is the quick service location in the American Adventure Pit. Yeah. Not associated with the festival. So this no. restaurant is open all year round. And they themed it after the Muppets, mostly San Diego. It's like the Muppets. Is my, who's my favorite Muppet? It's the Muppets doing like a barbecue cook-off. But it's not like in your face Muppets no. either. It's very subtle, which, but I really like it. <laughs> but why does it smell so freaking amazing in it here? So good. I think it's a barbecue sauce. Oh my gosh, it's delicious. It's so Just off to the side of the American Pavilion and the Regal Eagle Smokehouse is a Joffrey stand. And I got this strawberry mocha, they call it a game changer. I think that's just a fancy cold brew, but it is delicious. It tastes like a chocolate covered strawberry coffee. I think it's a, a seasonal for Valentine's Day, which isn't like for another three weeks, but I'm glad it's here now. Marcus likes it too. Oh my gosh, Marcus! I forgot my banana was like it was tucked in here <laughs> on the side part of my Whoops. backpack from yesterday. <laughs> I'm gonna throw this out. <laughs> so now are we off to take a picture with Sam? Very patriotic picture. Yeah, we will Wait. insert that picture now. <laughs> America. America. <laughs> okay, so Becky got everything from Goshiki, the Japanese. Food at the Festival of the Arts here. So we have a pork katsu sando, which is just like a pork cutlet sandwich, and it has rainbow bread, so it's really cool. Oh, that looks cool. Yeah. You're not gonna eat whatever's in that other one because that looks like pickled onion. Yeah, I don't know what that is, but that's that's not that's not gonna happen. Um, and then we have this mixed berry mochi, served on this super cute little plate. Almost is it plastic? Like it should be a galaxy veg. Yeah. And then. Sushi, sushi donut. What was that? Sushi. <laughs> sushi donut? Sushi donut. Um, tuna, salmon, shrimp, cucumber, sesame seed with wasabi, eel sauce, and sriracha. Oh, nice. Sandwich first. Uh oh, there's slaw on it too. Yeah, I'll scrape that out. Okay. It doesn't taste any different than like a regular white bread. Like, I don't taste any like particular sweetness about it. I think I was expecting it to be kind of like chicken. I don't know, because I maybe because I eat chicken sandwiches more, but the meat is a lot more dense, and I think that's just because it's a pork cutlet. Yeah. I'd give it a seven out of a ten. Seven out of a ten. Seven out of a ten? I'd give it seven out of ten. Okay. Well, let me go on to the sushi donut. We'll start with some salmon. And salmon is my favorite. This is nice and 
and tender. It's not over or undercooked. Salmon tastes fresh and it's nice that you can kind of customize your sauce options too. So if you're not a fan of one of the sauces, you can kind of just steer clear of it. Try tuna. Yeah, tuna's really fresh too. Good. Solid. I'll do a 9 out of 10. Nice. Only if you like sushi. Yeah. <laughs> Marcus might have the cucumber uh, slice. <laughs> yeah, that that would be the only thing that I would eat after that. Um, filled with a red bean paste, and it comes with assorted berries on top. So I will likely be eating the blackberry on there. Oh, and it looks like it has like a little um, cream piped on top too. I know you love red bean paste. I love red bean paste. That's not sarcasm, I really do. Yeah. Mm. The outside of the mochi is so soft and that cream on top is so light. It's like a very, it has like a whipped consistency and the red bean paste is sweet but not too sweet. If you're someone who doesn't really like super sugary desserts, this is a wonderfully light option. <laughs> How does it compare to like mochi from like a grocery store? Oh, this is so much better. From the grocery store is frozen. True. So you don't get it as tender. So is this cold? Mm. I'd say it's chilled. I wouldn't say it's cold. Okay. Wow. Just curious, because I, I would picture it as something being like a like a frozen dessert type dessert. I also love red bean paste, and you can typically get red bean. Wow. Best of the fest for me. Japan, just in general. All, I love all of the food from Japan. So the Skyliner is down for its annual refurbishment. So we did make the right decision by not staying at the pop and staying at also our music instead. Save some money. Oh my gosh, this bird has a lizard in its mouth. Oh, 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 that lizard is now gone. Oh my goodness. Nature at Epcot. Well, <laughs> that's right near uh, where you would get your Skyliner. You're just right here next to the pins. Can't believe I got that on camera. One of the most dangerous things about Festival of the Arts is that they have a bunch of art displays where you can buy actual like, canvas paintings or prints. And it can be very expensive very fast if you find stuff you like, like this one. We love the Clone Wars, and that, that is amazing. And it's $300. I really like this one. Are we gonna cut my, oh, you're getting it? It's, it's going. Oh, I'm still looking. <laughs> okay, so we were successful with some art pieces. We'll show them when we get back to the room. But they're both Star Wars themed. <laughs> and the artist for the piece that I bought was actually here at Epcot, so he signed it for me. Pretty cool. Very nice guy. His name is Al. Al, I can't read upside down. Abazia. Abazia. So, very nice guy. And I'll link his uh, social media accounts because he gave us his card too, so we could follow him mm -hmm. in the description down below. Okay, so I came over here because there was supposed to be a sorcerer Mickey along the wall, aiming towards the fountain, like he's making the fountain go. You can see the broom. Decal is still up, but Sorcerer Mickey is in the water. Somebody's got to fix that. He should not be there. He's my favorite, and he's getting a disservice. Poor Sorcerer Mick. So Epcot is under a lot of construction still in the center right behind Spaceship Earth. So this whole area is behind construction walls. But this building that they're constructing right here is going to be a new festival center. So it kind of be the home for all the different festivals that are really year round now. They just announced Flower and Garden and Food and Wine Festival for 2023. And Flower and Garden runs from March all the way through mid-July and then Food and Wine picks up right there and runs through November. So Epcot's really becoming festivals 20, 24 seven, 365 days a year. Becky loves festivals, so. She's all for it. So also at the Festival of the Arts, they have a uh, paint by number mural where you get some paint 
with a specific color and you have to color the number that the paint color goes with. So Becky's gonna do it. It is pretty popular so they have their own paint and brush distribution. And here are the different murals that guests are gonna be painting here at the festival. It's only gonna be one at a time. Where you get to pick your paint color, Becky? At this very moment, you do. It could change the Okay. Thank you. Monorail. That site like never gets old in Epcot. You gotta wait in line. What color did you pick? This blue color. Bonjour, bonjour, bonjour. <laughs> Becky's been watching a lot of Bluey lately. <laughs> we don't have kids, but she's just been watching it on Disney Plus, like in the background. And before we came, the the French episode was on, so the dad just says bonjour, bonjour, bonjour the whole time, and then we just been saying that nonstop. <laughs> Gonna find your number six. I don't see any sixes over here. Only three squares, which is different. Usually they used to let you do uh, six squares each person, but they must have gone through the murals too fast. Great job, Becky, you, you could paint. That's okay, don't worry about it. This is so it's a paint. world showcase? Very nice. Almost like it's a small world style. Yeah. I think we're leaving yeah, now. Like a dot. Well, we're just gonna transition into the next day, into the morning. Okay, so we're back. This is the following morning, and Mickey, Sorcerer Mickey, has been restored. I think they moved his location. I think it was closer to the water but I'm sure where the decal was not doing well with the, the moisture from the water. So they moved him to this side so he doesn't end up in the water like yesterday. But good to have you back, Mick. So the wait time for this ride has kind of been all over the place. I put, I put it on the app, it said 150 minutes. At the front it said 90, now it says 75. The way outside doesn't look too bad, so you know what? We're gonna give it a whirl. Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. Right now it's 9.30, so we will see how long it takes us to get through this line. We think these may be new 3D glasses. I don't remember the last time we went on this ride whether these are the glasses or not. Put on your rat vision, Becky. Rat vision. So how long was the wait, Becky? 21 minutes. 21 minutes, and we're right at the loading station to get into our rats.
time was very inflated. It only took us 30 minutes in total from when we got in line to when we got off the ride. So the ride's like five minutes in itself. So it was like a 25 minute wait. The wait time is a little bit better now. It says 35 minutes, but the line's even less than what we waited. So it was a good call by us getting in line. So now we are going to stay in the France Pavilion. We're gonna go into the original part of the France Pavilion and go to the bakery, the patisserie. That's better way to say it. So this is tucked away in the back of the France Pavilion. They are. This is actually to the right is where the Beauty and the Beast sing along and the Impressions de France uh, show lets out. And we're going to the Boulangerie Patisserie. These are more of like the dessert stuff in the case, but they also got specialties and sandwiches. They're baking the bread right back there. Oh, it smells so good in here. How good does it smell in here right now? Yeah, it's like amazing. Look at that bread. Oh. So these are more like the desserts. Look how big that croissant is. Macron, parfaits, chocolate cakes. Look at this cookie. I'm getting the macaron, raspberry macaron. <laughs> The creme brulee. That one's for you, Dad. But I'm not getting it this time. Okay, so from the French bakery, I get this bacon and cheese bread and a raspberry macaron. And Becky got this, I think it's ham, egg, and cheese, or maybe just ham and cheese croissant and a chocolate chip cookie for breakfast and we actually came down so France Pavilion is right there Morocco is right there and this is uh, International Gateway where you go to see the uh, or go to the Skyliner and the Yorkshire Fish and Chips and the United Kingdom Pavilion is right there and I just came down that walkway here and I'm sitting right on World Showcase Lagoon Got it all to myself. Becky's getting a coffee from Joffrey, so that's why I say I'm all by myself right now. But this is nice. Becky has returned with coffee. I really wanted to have some coffee with this. <laughs> <laughs> it was worth walking two countries over. Yeah. Um, so I got the croissant jambon fromage, which is just ham cheese. It also has a bechamel sauce in it. It's kind of like eggs benedict in the sandwich without the egg. <laughs> Give it a bite. Mm. That's good quality ham. So it's a thicker ham than like sliced deli meat. What, what, give it a rating at 10. Mm. Well, I just got the bechamel, so. I'm gonna give this a 9 out of 10. Nice. The only thing that would have made it a 10 out of 10 for me is if there was eggs on it. <laughs> <laughs> so my bacon and cheese bread, I give it a uh, solid 8 out of 10. It's good. I do wish there was a little bit more to it, but it's still very tasty. Okay, we're gonna enjoy our food now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no trip to Epcot would be complete without a ride through Spaceship Earth. Let's go. turned on Becky. The lights have just illuminated on Spaceship Earth so that means it's getting dark. 
So time to get some dinner. Dinner time. And our new annual pass holder magnets are Dumbo this time. So these are the new ILY dolls that Disney just recently re released. They are articulated and come with a variety of outfits and accessories. So this one I think is based off of Ariel. And they each come with a balloon. So this one's Snow White. Uh, this one's supposed to be Tiana. This is the first I've seen them in the parks. But they also have pets. Oh my gosh, these are so adorable and beautiful. Yeah. I hope these do well. They're so cute. So Marcus just got two items from Vibrante and Vivido, the Encanto inspired booth. Marcus got the chorizo and potato empanada. Comes with turmeric and annatto aiolis. Take a look. I didn't get a knife, so it's gonna take me a couple bites to get into it. I offered to get you a knife. Yeah, but I figured I'm just gonna eat it like this. I like almost the sauce on top. Oh, <laughs> is the sauce itself spicy? Has a little bit of a kick. It's, it has like a mustardy flavor to it. Mm. How warm is it? Pretty hot. Yeah. I heard it's quite hot. What's the inside? I don't know if you can see it. But there's chorizo, like peppers, I think. Mm. And potato. Is the inside spicy? Hot. Just seasoned? Seasoned, but temperature wise hot. What's your rating? I give it a solid 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. If I only like you had something to wash it down with. I do. I do. This is the coconut and passion fruit smoothie. I did not see if this was considered dairy free or not. I'll have to look. It's very refreshing and cuts down the spices. It's very similar to the coconut and um, pineapple Dole Whip swirl that I get at Magic Kingdom. Oh, good but comparison. In a smoothie form. Some smoothie form. I give this a. You know what? I'm gonna give it a ten out of ten. Wow. I really like this movie a lot. So during that Festival of the Arts, they also do Disney on Broadway shows where they take uh, current and past Broadway actors and actresses to come and reprise their roles. So that goes on throughout the day. Yeah, so the two people that they had here tonight, uh, one played Aladdin and Simba in The Lion King, and then the other uh, woman played Jasmine. All right, so over at the America Pavilion. Yeah, the artist table. The artist table is the booth. Marcus got the hummingbird cake. And it's banana cake. So the essence of this is banana. So I'm very excited. And I'm gonna try comparing it and see what's better between this and a cupcake. I have to say. The uh, commissary also. So see there's lots of different components. Yeah, there's some like gelato, the cake itself. And I'm not sure what this is. Caramelized pineapple maybe? Put a little bit together. I guess I can't really compare it to the cupcake. This is the actual cake is banana flavor while the cupcake was just yellow cake. And this banana sorbet is so good. I give this a 10 out of 10. 
Wow, Marcus with the high praise. I know what I like. And it's banana. This is a tutfini with his hummingbird cake. And uh, I think we're just gonna keep strolling along and I don't know. We're pooping up fast. Pooping out. Right we're pooping out fast. <laughs> yes, we're moving right along. Okay, so we're making our way to the front of the park to leave. We're gonna do some special Festival of the Arts photo ops. So here's the first photo pass opportunity that we're gonna take advantage of. So one of the photo pass photographers runs by with a beam of light and you gotta stand there for a long period of time and then you get like this beam of light going across the back. <laughs> So our next photo op is here in front of the Spaceship Earth at the front of the park and the photo pass photographer has a special prop in her side pocket that we will be using. Oh, she's taking out for the group in front. So then we will put our picture in right now. Okay. 